Okay mga kawawmat, in this video we will discuss the fundamental theorems of proportionality. In this video, we will apply the fundamental theorem of proportion proportionality to solve problems involving proportion. So let us recall first the concept of proportion. So again, it is an equation that shows two ratios are equal. So if your ratios are equal, then they are proportion. Okay? Or they are proportional. It can be written as a colon form or it can be written in fraction form where your b should not be equal to 0 and your d should not be equal to 0. So let's say I have 2 is to 3 and 4 is to 6. So these two ratios are equal. Okay, so these two ratios are equal. Yun po ang sinasabi ng proportion. Now, what do we call this A, B, C, D? Okay, so itong mga A, B, C, D na to, ito yung tinatawag nating terms of the proportion. So itong C2, C3, C4, at C6 are the terms of the proportion. And then always remember that your B and C or yung itong 3 and 4 natin are the means. And then yung A at D natin, ito naman yung tinatawag nating extremes. Okay? So, how will you check if the given uh, pair of ratios, okay, so kung itong mga ratios na to ay equal o kung yung uh, proportion ba ay true sa given na ratios na to. So, you can make use of the, uh, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Pwede nyo itong gamitin. So, pag minultiply natin yung means, that is 12. Pag minultiply natin yung extreme, that is also 12. So, if the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes, then that is a proportion. Okay? Or you may also apply the cross multiplication. Pwede rin po ito. So, ito po yung pag tinipes ninyo yung uh, extreme, that is 2 times 6, that is 12. And then yung means, that is for 3 times 4, that is also 12. So, by cross multiplication, pag minultiply mo yan, at equal sila, ibig sabihin, the proportion is true. Or, isa pang way is, kapag pareho po yung kanilang simplest form. So, halimbawa po ito. Halimbawa po ito, meron akong two-thirds. Pag kinuha ko, so this is already the simplest form. Okay? Pag kinuha ko yung simplest form nito, this is also two-thirds. So, kapag equal din po yung simplest form nila, then that is, the, uh, that is a proportion or the proportion is true. Okay? So, tatandaan that the product of the extremes is equal to the product of the means where AD is equal to BC or A times D is equal to B times C. Let's have an example. So, what if there is an unknown o meron tayong hinahanap na missing value? So, kagaya nito, I have 4 over 5 is equal to X over 25. So, again, pwede mo i-apply yung cross multiplication. So, ito, 5X is equal to 4 times 25. So, 5x is equal to 4 times 25, that is 100, divided by 5. So, 100 divided 5, so your x is 20. Okay, so therefore, this is 20. So, this is how we get the missing values of your proportion. Okay, another way, kapag naka-colon form naman siya, multiply, ganun lang din po. Multiply po ninyo yung uh, extreme, 3 times x, and then yung means, 5 times 9, so that is 3x is equal to 5 times 9, that is 45, dividing both sides by 3, your x will be 45, divide 3, that is 15. So, this is another way, uh, this is another solution kapag um, ang ratio po ninyo o yung proportion po natin ay nakakolon form. Okay. So, let's talk about similar triangles. So, again, uh, nabanggit natin sa previous tutorial natin na matatawag o consider natin silang similar triangles kapag ang corresponding sides nila ay congruent. So, given dito sa, na given na figure natin, so angle A is congruent to angle A, angle X is congruent to angle B, and then your angle Y is congruent to angle C. So, these two triangles are similar if their angles are congruent. And these two triangles are similar if their corresponding sides are proportional. So, ano ba yung mga proportional sides natin dito? So, ano ba yung mga sides na proportional? So, we have AX over AB is equal to AY over AC is equal to AXY over BC. 
Okay? So, these two triangles are similar triangles. Why? Because the corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. So, dun lang po natin matatawag na similar triangles po sila. Now, we can say that triangle ABC is similar to triangle AXY. Why? Kasi nga po, congruent ang angles, proportional ang sides. So, we can say that these two triangles are similar. So, ito po yung symbol natin for similarity. Now, as you can see, if I will try to overlap these two triangles, so ipapatong ko yung isang triangle dun sa bigger triangle, we can see that in triangle ABC, nagkaroon tayo ngayon ng triangle ABC. Ito po yung triangle ABC natin. So in triangle ABC, your X and Y now becomes the points on segment AB. So yung point X mo, naging point siya ngayon ni segment AB. At si Y naman, naging point siya ngayon ni segment AC. Okay? Such that XY, so this segment is parallel to segment BC. So this segment is parallel to this segment. So therefore, we can form a proportion of AX. So based AX over AB, this one, okay, yung buo, AX over AB, and then AY over AC. Okay? So, as you can see, this proportion is also the same as this one. So, ito kinuha natin kanina, yung mga sides na proportional. So, as you can see, nung um, in-overlap natin, makukuha mo pa rin itong proportion na to. So, dito papasok yung concept ng Basic Proportional Theorem. So, ano ba tong Basic Proportional Theorem or BPT? So, if a line is drawn parallel, so ito yung line na tinatawag. So, if a line is drawn parallel to this side, to one side of your triangle, so ito kasi yung triangle mo, triangle ABC. So, if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle, and intersects the other two sides. So, ito yung two sides. In-intersect niya itong line na to with these points, X and Y. Ayan, with distinct points. Then, it divides or it cut off the sides into segments that are proportional. So, makakat niya ngayon yung mga segments, itong segment na to at isong segment na to into proportional sides. Okay? So, aside from this, we can also obtain these proportions from the given uh, triangles using the basic proportional theorem. So, ito pong um, triangles natin, mer bukod dito, meron pa tayong makukuha na ibang proportions. Ano, 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 ano po yun? So, we have AB over AX. Ito po, kung ang kinuha mo rito buo, so, itong buong segment na to, AB, over AX, that is also equal to AC, yung ganun din, buo rin, and then AY. Okay? So, this is another proportion. Another, we have AB over AC, then AX over AY. Okay? Another, we have XB over AB, so, eto muna, and then eto, e di ganun din, AYC over AC. So, ang dami pong pwedeng proportions na uh, makuha natin o ma-derive natin dito na pwede natin gamitin mamaya sa pag-solve po ng mga problems involving proportions. So, another, we have AX. AX, XB, so ganun din po. AY, YC. Okay? And then, AX, o, uh, AX over AY, and the XB over YC. Another, we have AB over AC. So, XB over YC rin. So, kung itong buong inano niya, buo rin ito. Kung dito, tapos dito, eh di dito rin, tapos ito. Okay? So, these are uh, some of the proportions we can use in solving problems involving proportions. So, let us try. Identify the possible proportions that can be derived given the triangle below following the basic proportionality theorem. So, meron ako nito. So, i-try natin lagyan ng sukat. 
Okay, so ito po yung kanina. So, we have A, sides A, B, C, D, M, and K. So, itong M, sum to ng A and B. And then, si C and D ay si K, sum siya nung measure ni C at T. So, lagyan natin siya ng measure. So, as you can see, 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 plus 3 is 9. Now, so, mag-list tayo ng possible proportions given dito sa ating uh, triangle. So, we have... If I have A over M, so A over M, then that is equal to, ang given niya dito, C over ano. So, kung A over M, ibig sabihin, we, that is equivalent to C over, okay, that is K. Okay, another, we have A over C, tapos missing yung nasa numerator, over K na siya. So, A over C, tapos nag-over K na. So, ibig sabihin, ano dapat yung nandito? That is M. Okay? Another, we have B. B over M. Tapos dito, K na agad. B over M. So, what should be the numerator? O yung nandito? Para, and then, over K. So, that is D. Next, we have A over B is equal to C over, okay, that is D. Next, A over C is equal to D. Ito na agad, so ano dapat ito? So, A over C and then blank over D. So, that is B. Next, B over D, B over D, and then M over what? So, B over D, M over, okay, that is K. Okay, so... These are uh, some or possible proportions that can be derived from the given triangle. So, you applying the basic proportionality theorem. So, let us give the value. So, meron tayong sukat dito na binigay. So, ibigay natin. Your A is 4, A over M, so 4 over 6. And then, C over K, so 6 over 9. Now, para ma-check nyo nga, are they really a proportion? So, pwede nyo kunin yung kanyang Lowest term or simplest form. So, this is two-thirds. This is also two-thirds. Or you may apply the uh, fundamental law of proportion. Yung uh, product of the extreme is equal to the product of the mean. So, 36, 36. Another, we have, so your A over C is 4 over 6. Your M over K is 6 over 9. So, you may check then using the simplest form or the, um, the fundamental law of pro proportion. Another for BM, so BM 2 over 6, so we have DK, so 3 over 9. So this is 18, 18 din yan. And then AB is 2 over, I mean 4 over 2, and then CD is 6 over 3, so 4 divided 2 is 2, 6 divided 3 is also 2. Next, we also have AC, so 4 over 6, and then BD, that is 2 thirds, so this is 12, this is 12. And then BD, your BD is 2 thirds, your MK is 6 over 9. So, we have 18, 18, or 2 thirds. Kunin mo rin yung simplest form nito, this is also 2 thirds. So, these are some of the possible proportions that can be derived given this triangle using the basic proportionality theorem. Now, to find the missing length in a triangle, so, we will be applying the basic proportionality theorem and the properties of proportion. So, gagamitin natin lahat ng natatunan natin properties ng proportion, yung um, uh, inverse proportion, yung kanyang cross mul uh, multiplication property, yung inverse property, reciprocal property, addition property, subtraction property, and yung sum. Okay? So, marami tayong pwedeng gamitin. So, let's say I have here Triangle CEA. So, I have here triangle CEA where BD is parallel to AE. So, para ma-apply po natin yung basic proportionality theorem na kung saan nilista natin lahat ng mga proportions kanina na pwede natin gamitin sa pagsusolve, make sure that uh, in your given problem, sab dapat sabihin doon na parallel ito. Na dapat meron tayong parallel doon sa triangle natin. So, dito, binigay na BD is parallel to AE. So, therefore, we can apply the basic proportionality theorem. 
Okay? So, kapag hindi siya parallel, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pwedeng gamitin yung mga proportions na yun. Okay? So, let's have CD over DE is equal to CB over BA. Now, para makuha natin si DE, kasi ang pinapahanap sa atin is DE. So, paano natin makukuha ito? Pwede nyo po i-apply lahat ng proportions na ginamit natin kanina. So, ang daming pwede. Okay? So, bigyan ko ka lang kayo ng mga example. So, pwede kong gamitin yung CD over DE is equal to CB over BA. So, isa lang yan. Another, we have CD over CB is equal to DE over BA. Okay? Another proportion yan. Or you can make use of DE over CD and then BA over CB. So, marami pong pwede. So, ito lang po yung tatlo. Okay? Tatlo lang po ito sa pwede nyong gamitin. Now, ako, gagamitin ko ito. Okay? So, lahat naman yan, kahit anong gamitin mo dyan, tama po yan. So, we have your CD is 12, your DA, this is the unknown, so your CB is 15, and then your BA is 10. Okay? So, let me show you the shortcut in solving this uh, unknown. So, paano ba yung shortcut na tinatawag natin? So, yung unknown, lagay mo rito. Okay? And then, since cross-multiply yan, yung i-cross-multiply na to, yun na to, ita-times natin. Yun ang nasa numerator. Yung na E1, naka-partner nung unknown mo, yun ang ilalagay mo sa denominator. Okay? Ulit. Copy your unknown is equal to Yung i-cross multiply ninyo na 12 times 10. And then, yung kapartner nung unknown mo, lagi mo yan ilalagay sa denominator. Okay? Again, yung kapartner ng unknown, lagi nyo po ilalagay sa denominator. So, DE is equal to 12 times 10 over 15. So, I, this is the easiest way. Okay? Na, mas madali siya compared dun sa isang ipapakita ko mamaya na normal nating ginagawa. So, we have DE is equal to 120 over 15. So, that is 8. So, therefore, the measure of this side is 8. Okay? So, this is 8. Now, yung isa kasi, kung hindi mo to gagamitin, kung saan ka masanay, pwede rin naman yon yung cross multiplication. So, DE times 15 and then 12 times 10. Okay, so multiplying the means and the extreme. So, DE times 15 and then 12 times 10. So, we have 15 times DE is equal to 12 times 10. That is 120. Divide both sides by 15. Para maalis natin tong 15. So, this will be cancelled. So, your DE is 120 divided by 15. And that is 8. So, as you can see, you have two ways of solving. Okay, so pwede ito kung nasanay ka sa multiplying the means and the extremes. And then, ito naman, um, since meron tayong unknown, pwede naman ito. So, copy your unknown, cross multiply, 12 times 10, and then yung kapartner ng unknown mo, lagay mo sa denominator. Now, this is not always applicable to, or, to all the ano, missing sides. Okay? Minsan, kapag ang pinapahanap values of x, so, ang gagamitin mo talaga ito. Kasi, wala kang unknown doon. Ang pinapahan, given lahat yun eh, pag yung values of x, x ang pinapahanap at ibibigay ko yun mamaya as example so pwede mo i-check okay? so nakuha na natin yung DE which is 8 so we have 12 over 8 is equal to 15 over 10 so pwede mong gamitin dito yung simplest form pag equal sila, equivalent yung simplest form nila then they are proportion so tama yung sagot natin so 12 over 8, this is 3 halves also 15 over 10 so, therefore, since they have the same simplest form, therefore, our answer is correct. I have here triangle ABC. So, your AD is 5 cm. Your BD is X plus 6, 6 cm. And then, your AE is 3 cm. Your EC or CE is X plus 3 cm. So, we are asked to find AB, itong buo. Now, Madali sana itong makuha si AB kung ito ay whole number. Okay? So, madali na lang. 5 plus, kung whole number ito, i-add na lang natin para makuha natin si AB. But since meron siyang unknown, kailangan muna natin siya isolve. So, we need to get the value of x first 
para pag nakuha natin yung values of x, isa-substitute natin dito, i-add natin to doon. Okay? So, para kailangan makuha muna natin yung value ni x. So, we need to set up a proportion. Okay? So, para makuha mo si ab, i-add natin si ad plus db. So, set up natin yung ating proportion. I can make use of ad since given naman lahat ng sides natin. Given lahat ng ano eh, yung four sides. Okay? So, madaling makuha ito. So, 5 over db, I mean ad over db is equal to ae over ec. So, we have 5 over x plus 6 is equal to 3 over x plus 3. So, by cross multiplication, so ito yung sinasabi ko na uh, since um, hinahanap natin yung values ng x, ibig sabihin, you, you really need to cross multiply. Okay? Hindi mo pwedeng gamitin dito yung shortcut kanina. Okay? So, hanahanap natin yung values ni x. So, we have 5 times x plus 3 and then 3 times x plus 6. So, we have 5 times x, that is 5x. 5 times 3, that is 15. And then, distribute din to 3 times x, that is 3x. 3 times 6, that is 18. So, transpose natin ito, this will become minus 3x. And then, 18, transpose natin ito, magiging minus 15. So, 5 minus 3, that is 2x, is equal to 18 minus 15, this is 3. So, divide both sides by 2, 3 divide 2, your x is 1.5 or 1 and 1 half. Okay, so, mas madaling mag-compute kapag naka-decimal siya compared to fraction. So, this is 1.5 or 1 and 1 half. Now, nakuha na natin yung value ni x. So, isubstitute natin siya sa db. Your db is x plus 6. So, isubstitute natin yung 1.5 dito sa x. 1.5 plus 6, your db is 7.5. So, ito ngayon ay 7.5. So, makukuha na natin. Ano nga ulit para makuha natin ang ab? We have AD plus DB. I-add natin itong dalawa. So, nakuha na natin yung DB which is 7.5. Substitute na natin siya dito. So, your AD is 5. Your DB is 7.5. Therefore, your AB is 12.5. So, your AB is 12.5 centimeters. Let's have this one. In triangle ACD, so I have here triangle ACD, your DB, this one, your DB is 3x plus 1, BC is 3x minus 1, AE is 5x minus 1, and EC is 4x plus 1. So, first step is you have to set up the proportion. So, set up natin yung proportion. I will be using DB over BC is equal to AE over EC. So, yun ang gagamitin kong proportion. So, ang papa, pinapahanap sa atin ay value ni X. Okay? So, we have, your DB is 3X plus 1, your BC is 3X minus 1, your AE is 5X minus 1, and EC is 4X plus 1. So, by cross multiplication, we have 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 is equal to 3x minus 1 times 5x minus 1. So, you can make use of um, FOIL method. Pwede mong gamitin ang FOIL method dito or distributive property. Pwede rin po yun. So, we will have 12x squared plus 7x plus 1. So, marami magtatanong dito siguro sa comments, Ma'am, paano po nakuha yung 12x squared plus 7x plus 1? Okay, so pwede nyo balikan yung ating lessons ng factoring. Meron po tayo niyang video tutorial sa ating grade 8 playlist. Pwede po yun. So, pwede nyo itong gamitan ng FOIL method or distributive property. Okay? So, 12x squared plus 7x plus 1 is equal to 15x squared minus 8x plus 1. Ganun din po dito. So, we have, you may transpose yung 15x squared that will become minus and also yung negative x squared that will become positive. Okay? So, combine similar terms po tayo dito and then 1 minus 1. Ito naman, transpose natin sa right side. So, we have 12 minus 15 that is negative 3x squared plus 7 plus 8 that is 15x. So, this is 0. So, from here, Pwede mo tong i-factor using the common monomial factor. So, you have negative 3x 
times the quantity of x minus 5. Okay, paano naging ganito? Negative 3x times x, that is negative 3x squared. And then negative 3x minus times negative 5, that is positive 15x. So, that is equal to 0. Therefore, meron tayong dalawang value ng x dito. Ano yung una? We have negative 3x is equal to 0. So, ang makukuha natin dito is, I mean, yung una is negative 3x is equal to 0, and then yung isa, x minus 5 is equal to 0. So, meron tayong dalawa. Okay? So, alin dito yung value ng x? So, isolve natin. So, we have x is equal to 0. Paano naging 0? Kasi 0 divided by any number. ba magiging 0 divided by negative 3 to? So, 0 divided by any number that is always equal to 0. Okay? And then ito, transpose natin ito sa right side, magiging positive. So, we have x is equal to 5. So, we will be using 5 as the value of x. Why? The value of x cannot be equal to 0. Bakit? Kasi kapag ang value ng x mo ay 0, ang measure ng side ng triangle mo mag ay posibleng maging negative. And we cannot have negative measurements pagdating sa mga figures natin. Okay? So, walang negative dyan. So, uh, let's try. So, kung is to try natin siya dito, 5 times 0, 0. Minus 1, negative 1. So, ang sukat nito ay negative 1. Okay? So, wala tayong negative na sukat. Okay? So, therefore, the value of x is equal to 5. So, ang gagamitin natin value of x ay 5. Hindi po itong 0. Next. In triangle QRS, meron tayo dito if RD is equal to 3 centimeters and then your DQ is equal to 5 centimeters kasi 3 is to 5 ito. And RS, itong buo, yung RS mo is equal to 12 centimeters. So, we are asked to find RE. Ito po. So, ang una po muna natin gagawin, set up the proportion. So, ano pong proportion ang pwede mong gamitin dito? So, ang pinapahanap sa atin ay si RE. So, kung ang gagawin natin is RD over DQ is equal to RE over ES. So, dalawa yung unknown mo dun. So, ang hirap isolve nun. Okay? So, kung ang gagamitin mo naman ay DQ over RD is equal to ES over RE. So, ano rin yun? Dalawa yung unknown. So, ito ang gamitin natin. Okay? So, pwede kong gamitin na RD over RQ is equal to RE over RS. So, ma'am, RD, given yung RD, yung RQ, hindi given. Tapos, RE, hindi rin given. So, dalawa rin po yung unknown doon. Hindi po. Kasi ang RQ po ay pwede mong makuha. Bak, paano? I-add po natin ito. So, therefore, ang gagamitin ko ay RD over RQ is equal to RE over RS. Kasi ito ay given. Yung RQ natin, makukuha natin dahil pwede natin itong i-add. Okay? So, we have this proportion. So, your RD is 3. Your DQ, RQ is 8. So, paano ko ito nakuha? 3 plus 5. That is 8. And then, your RE. And then, your RS is 12. So, isa lang ang ano natin. Yung hinahanap lang natin na RE. Okay? So, you can make use of the shortcut. So, RE, RE, and then yung cross multiply, 3 times 12 over 8. Kung ano yung kapartner ni RE sa cross multiplication. So, RE is equal to 3 times 12 over 8. Okay? So, we have 3 times 12, that is 36 over 8. So, i-divide natin siya sa GCF para makuha natin yung simplest form. So, we have... RE, 36 divided 4 is 9, 8 divided 4 is 2. So, therefore, your RE is 9 over 2 or 9 halves centimeters. Next. So, ABCD is a trapezium in which AB, so this is a trapezium in which AB, ito raw po, is parallel to DC, where P and Q are the points of this segment and this segment. Now, PQ is also parallel to DC. So, given, ang given natin, your PD is 18 centimeters, your BQ is 35 centimeters, 
your QC is 15. So, ang pinapahanap sa atin is AD, itong buo. So, paano natin makukuha itong buo? So, kailangan makuha muna natin itong CPA. Okay? So, para makuha natin itong AD, we need to get the measure of this side, which is PA. Okay? So, kunin natin itong PA. So, first step is you have to set the proportion. So, ako ang gagamitin ko is DP. Actually, and marami pong ways. Okay? Kasi marami tayong proportion na pwedeng gamitin. Ang difference lang po ng way ng pag-solve siguro natin dito ay kung paano mas mapapabilis. Ano yung proportion na kung saan mas mapapabilis ka? Okay? So, we have DP over PA is, equi is equal to CQ over QB. Now, why am I applying this proportion? Eh, this is not a, a triangle. So, bakit ko ito ina-apply? Unang-una, hindi siya triangle. So, ang tanong, ang proportion ba ay true pagdating sa ganitong figure or yung proportion ay para lang sa triangle? So, let's see. So, kung gagawan ko ito ng diagonal, so, magpo-form ako dito ng diagonal, and then I will name this intersection o yung point na to as point K. Okay, so, makakabuo tayo ng dalawang triangle dito. We have triangle ADB and triangle CBD. So, meron akong triangle ADB and triangle CBD. So, nakabuo tayo ng dalawang triangle. So, from here, mag-set up tayo ng proportion from the given tri first triangle. So, sa first triangle mo, meron tayong pwede mong gamitan ng proportion na DP over PA is equal to DK over KB. Right? So, isa lang, isa lang ito sa mga proportion ng first triangle. Now, sa second triangle, kuha tayo ng isa rin proportion. So, we have DK over KB is equal to CQ over QB. Okay? So, ito naman yung isa lang sa mga proportion ng triangle CBD. Now, as you can see, I have here two proportions of different triangles. Now, kung titingnan natin, pareho silang equal kay DK over KB. So, ito rin equal kay DK over KB. So, by transitivity or transitive property, therefore, if these two proportions or ratios, okay, so kung itong dalawang ratios na to ay parehong equal sa ratios na to, ibig sabihin, these two ratios are also equal. Okay? So, since parehong equal itong ratios na to kay DK over KB, ibig sabihin silang dalawa ay equal din. Okay? So, let's see. Tingnan natin dito, I have DP over PA is equal to CQ over QB. So, ibig sabihin, the proportion is true kahit hindi po triangle, I mean, kahit trapezium po ang ating figure. Okay? So, we have, let us um, supply the values, the given values. So, your DP is 18, your PA is, yun, yun, yun po yung kailangan muna nating hanapin. So, kailangan nating mahanap ito para makuha natin yung AD. Okay? So, your CQ is 15 and then your QB is 35. So, para makuha natin yung ito, yung buo, kailangan makuha natin yung sum nitong dalawa. So, we need to get PA. So, doing the shortcut, so we have PA and then cross multiply, we have 18 times 35 over 15. Okay? So, kung ano yung kapartner nung unknown, lalagay po lagi sa denominator. So, we have PA is equal to 18 times 35, that is 630, divided by 15, your PA is equal to 42. Okay? So, nakuha na natin yung ating PA, which is 42 centimeters. So, now, para makuha natin si AD, we need to add the measures of DP and PA. So, your DP is 18, your PA is 42, so therefore, your AD is equal to 48, I mean, 18 plus 42, that is 66 centimeters. So, 18 plus 42, that is 60 centimeters. Okay, so let's try. So, the triangles are similar. So, since similar sila, therefore, the corresponding angles are congruent and their corresponding sides are proportional. So, complete the following. So, I will be answering number 1. So, triangle ABC, I mean BCD, is similar to triangle ACE. So, I'm um, giving you 30 seconds, or I mean 1 minute to answer. 
If the time is not enough, you may pause the video. Okay, so let us check. So we have 15, 20, 12. D is 4. The perimeter of triangle BCD is 45 units. The perimeter of triangle ACE is 60 units. And the ratio of the perimeters is, paano kukunin yung ratio? 45 over 60. Get the lowest term or the simplest form. So that is 3 fourths. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell para updated kayo for more video tutorials. This is your guide in learning your math lessons, your Walmart channel.